Welcome back to the Healthy Skin Show. I'm Takashi, your healthy skin coach, helping you get clear skin and preaching to the world why food is the ultimate medicine. Today, I'm going to explain why vegetables are so important for your health and for you to fight off the coronavirus. But first, I'm going to plug my website at thehealthyskincoach.com. You can book a free phone consultation with me on my website and I will show you why food is the ultimate medicine. I also recommend some products that I use every day, including this 100% pure almond oil and Skinessa Probiotic, which is important for your digestive health, which directly strengthens your immune system to help fight off viruses. And if you have severe eczema, you can use GladSkin to help kill off the staph bacteria that's colonizing on your skin and preventing you from healing. All right, so let's dive into today's video. The reason why the coronavirus is so deadly is because it creates so much inflammation in the body that your immune system overreacts and starts attacking your own body. That's why people are dying because their bodies just can't handle that much inflammation. And you are more susceptible if you have pre-existing conditions, if you are overweight, or diabetic, or if you are an older patient. So this New York Times article is titled, The Coronavirus Patients Betrayed by Their Own Immune System. And it talks about a cytokine storm that happens when you are infected with the virus. So a cytokine is a signaling protein that lets your body know to create more inflammation by releasing inflammatory chemicals. When the body first encounters a virus, the immune system ramps up and begins to fight the invader. The foot soldiers in this fight are molecules called cytokines that set off a cascade of signals to form a response. Usually, the stronger this immune response, the stronger the chance of vanquishing the infection, which is why children and younger people are less vulnerable overall to coronavirus. Once the enemy is defeated, the immune system shuts off. And that's typically what happens. But in some cases, as much as 15% of people, the immune system keeps raging on long after the virus is no longer a threat. It continues to release inflammatory cytokines that keep the body on an exhausting full alert. And these cytokines attack multiple organs, including the lungs, and liver and eventually leads to death. They also complicate various autoimmune diseases like lupus and Stills disease, a form of arthritis. A patient battling a cytokine storm may have an abnormally fast heart rate, fever, and a drop in blood pressure. Apart from a surge in interleukin-6, which is an inflammatory cytokine, the body may also show high swirling levels of molecules called interleukin-1 interferon gamma, C-reactive protein, and tumor necrosis factor alpha, the inflammatory cytokine that I talk about the most. So initially, the body releases all these inflammatory cytokines in order to fight off the virus. But in some people who haven't taken care of their bodies, the immune system continues to release these inflammatory chemicals, causing your organs to fail and your body to shut down. And this article goes on to talk about all the drugs that are being developed to block these inflammatory chemicals to help reduce inflammation in the body. You've heard me talk about Humira, the best-selling drug in the world with $20 billion in revenues, which blocks TNF-alpha, the tumor necrosis factor, which is the inflammatory cytokine that is involved in a lot of autoimmune diseases. And by blocking this cytokine, it reduces inflammation in the body. And just as a reference, here are the list of pro-inflammatory cytokines, including interleukin-1, beta, 2, 7, 6, TNF-alpha, there's number 12, 2R, 15, 17, and 8. And the list of anti-inflammatory cytokines are interleukin-4, 5, 10, 1RA, and 13. So you know what I always say, that food is the ultimate medicine. Well, you need to start eating the right 
foods starting today to optimize your health, your immune system, so that if you get the coronavirus, your immune system is strong enough and optimized to help fight off the coronavirus and to help you not die from a cytokine storm where your organs start shutting down because you have too much inflammation in the body. So let's talk about one food that helps reduce inflammation, and that is your good old vegetables. This research study from Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, is titled Cruciferous Vegetable Intake is Inversely Correlated with Circulating Levels of Pro-Inflammatory Markers in Women. And what did they find out? That circulating concentrations of tumor necrosis factor, interleukin-1-beta, and interleukin-6 were lower among women with higher intakes of cruciferous vegetables. The differences in concentrations of inflammatory bio biomarkers were 12.6% for TNF-alpha, 18% for interleukin-1-beta, and 24.7% for interleukin-6. Conclusions this study suggests that the previously observed health benefits of cruciferous vegetable consumption may be partly associated with the anti-inflammatory effects of these vegetables. So if you want to survive the coronavirus, you have to prevent the cytokine storm from happening in the first place. And one of the best ways to do that is to eat anti-inflammatory foods. So here are the list of cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, radishes, cauliflower, kale, cabbage, arugula, collard greens, turnips. I personally eat kale pretty much every single day. And I'll throw in broccoli and Brussels sprouts as well into my diet. And you should also include some of these vegetables into your diet. Here's another research study from the University of Minnesota titled Fruit and Vegetable Consumption and Its Relation to Markers of Inflammation and Oxidative Stress in Adolescents. And they were studying the relation of fruit and vegetable intakes, antioxidants, folate, and flavonoids with markers of inflammation including C-reactive proteins, interleukin-6, tumor necrosis alpha, and oxidative stress. And what they found was that C-reactive proteins, which is inflammatory, was significantly inversely associated with intakes of fruit, vitamin C, and folate, which is in a lot of fruits and vegetables. Interleukin-6 was inversely associated with intakes of legumes, vegetables, beta-carotene, and vitamin C, and TNF-alpha was inversely associated with beta-carotene and lutein. So the results showed that the beneficial effects of fruit and vegetable intake on markers of inflammation and oxidative stress are already present by early adolescents and provide support for the U.S. dietary guideline to consume five or more servings per day of fruits and vegetables to promote beneficial cardiovascular health. This last research study comes from Tufts University in Boston titled a diet high in carotenoid-rich vegetables and fruits favorably impacts inflammation status by increasing plasma concentrations of interferon alpha-2 and decreasing MIP1-beta and TNF-alpha in healthy individuals. And the researchers also found that carotenoid-rich vegetables reduces inflammatory biomarkers in the body. Now, what are carotenoid rich vegetables they are in vegetables that are green yellow or orange in color and the top carotenoid foods include carrots spinach pumpkin sweet potatoes collard greens kale turnip greens cantaloupe and mango and the beta carotene found inside these vegetables are very powerful antioxidants and it converts in the body to vitamin a and it plays a critical role in maintaining healthy vision, skin, and neurological function. Other benefits include supporting healthy pregnancies and improving your respiratory health. So I hope you learned something today that vegetables and fruits help reduce the inflammation in the body, which can prevent a cytokine storm from happening if you are infected by the coronavirus, which can potentially save 
your life. You have to make the decision to start optimizing your health starting today in order to boost your immune system, to get healthier skin, and to live a longer, more fulfilling life. So if you need help with your nutrition, book a free appointment with me at thehealthyskincoach.com. All right. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. As always, Taco is out.